Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to bring you a video in the machine. Now, I know it's another machine replay, and there's going to be a few more of these, but I just keep having good games in this tank, and I think they're fun games to play in this tank. Now, in this game, we're on Redshire. Um, I'm platooned with Spandex and Felix. Spandex in his ship barn, and Felix in his E5. Now, before we get into this game, I didn't upload a video yesterday. Um, I know I usually do daily ones. Uh, especially when I've got the videos recorded, but not been very well recently. Um, I damaged a tooth a while back in a fight, and that means it's prone to infection. And I uh, had one recently, it's immensely painful. Sometimes I can't quite talk properly, so I can't bring you the video. But I feel a little bit better today, so I'm gonna bring you one today. And this one I think can resonate with a lot of people. In this game, my internet's gonna try and fuck me. And I'm not going to let it. Now, there's going to be a lot of lag this game. If you watch the uh, little latency bar on the top left, you will see when the lag happens. Now, some of you might think it's wargaming and the servers and everything. I know it's not, simply because I'm in a party with Spandex and Felix. And every so often, the voices are cutting out. That's how I know that it's my internet. Um, and I'm sure some of you know you're going to see a little bit of... Uh, pausing there on my tank, and already I know there's going to be an awkward game. I miss every shot, I didn't want to stay exposed too long because of the hell at the back of a Death Star that they do have, and artillery. Um, and this moment I've seen that they've got people into the castle, and normally I don't head there, but they have enough people going there to where I think it's worth me going to the castle. So I'm going to wait till I'm loaded. I'm going to start making the move. Again, this is where this tank's axle mobility comes into play. You can relocate quite nicely. The only problem is you don't have the camouflage, so when you try to relocate, you might get spotted quite easily, so bear that in mind. I do get spotted, but I managed to make it to the castle before anything too bad happens. And this is where most of the uh, connection issues are going to happen. You watch latency bar, you see the little, uh, my tank just glitching all over the place. I mean, a quieter gets shot, especially when it comes to moving backwards and forward, because you start driving forwards, your tank freezes, and then you don't know how far forward your tank is. Well, he's on heavy, he's a terrifying tank to face again because of his DPM, and if he's got those disgusting heat shells loaded, he'd be an issue. Thankfully, he didn't. There's also a Super Conqueror over here, hold down, which is going to be an issue. And I go to drive up to get a look. And then I start backing up again, and again, the lag is there. And I'm thinking, I don't really want to peek on the Super Conqueror with this. So I thought, I'll go on the other side, it might be safer. And I, I saw a stop there for a moment to see if the uh, lag would go down a little bit. And as I come around the corner, look at my aiming circle. Just like that, the side of my screen. And just, ugh. It's just the worst, like, honestly. And all I'm doing is I'm praying for it just to calm down and just relax. Like, it's fucked me enough already. Just chill, let me play the game. Good news is, I'm still on full health, so that's nice. Um, I see the Super Conqueror, but I said I want to try and ram the T7 Heavy. I fuck up, because I have the traverse speed for it, so I start backing up again. So the machine is very fast, but it doesn't turn very fast. Our teammates are going to handle the 57 heavy, so I'm going to deal with the super conqueror to put a shell on me. I fuck up the first shot, but track him. Don't quite get the kill shot. Go for a reload. Now, the hell they have a Death Star there, which is horrifying. Could again, everyone keep in mind this is before the Death Star nerfs, and they're still pretty ridiculous even after the nerfs, because you don't want to get hit for 1500. Um, I wait till he backs up, and I think I got the speed. I'm going to try and get to the hill. Because the regular Death Star, he doesn't have gun depressing like the ship barn does. So I'm going to try and race to the hill now, and get below where his gunner can aim. Now they have a Conqueror. I'm going to get a hull down. Fuel tanks, tracks, ammo rack. Artillery misses me, uh, so thankfully it doesn't do too much damage. And I just try and put the last shot into the weak point on top of the Death Star turret, but I do bounce. 
So there's a Amorak kill this guy. Which is always nice. Makes my job easier. Now, I do come up with this next engagement. I want to just keep an eye out because I'm going to make a mistake here. And I do like to point out my mistakes. Uh, you see the latency bar still going a bit nuts. Now, I know the artillery is over to the left, so I'm quite scared of him. And now they've got an E5 coming to join the Death Star, which again is going to be a pain in the ass. Although the E5 will join the Death Star. It's an E50M at the moment, but there will be an E5. You saw that like little bit of teleporting there with the aim. Not ideal when there's a Death Star in front of him. Now, ideally, I should have loaded heat here, because I could go through the upper turret of the Death Star. But I've got APCRs, and I'm just going to roll with it. Now, you see, I keep looking at where the artillery is. Because I'm terrified he's going to launch a shell over at me. Trying to get the angle. Make fully use my gun depression. Now, I thought, if you listen closely... I'm waiting for teammates, and I'm waiting for my lag to calm down. I heard what sounded like a big shell there, so I thought Death Star had fired. What you're going to notice is... Death Star definitely did not fire. Um, so I take a big shell from the Death Star there because I made the mistake of thinking I heard him shoot. Artillery gets spotted, uh, but I'm in the middle of reload. Now the E5 is here. Our, team, our artillery just managed to finish off the E50M them. And our artillery's going to do work this game, to be fair to him. Like, very useful shot. Pull over for the E5, start backing up to get out of the way of the artillery. And the reason I keep bringing up the artillery is... It's going to be important to kill the artillery this game. So you see, when the artillery pops up, I'm going to focus the artillery. I missed the first shot. Do finish him. I do get very lucky that the E5 misses my sidearm, hits my turret, but at the same time, he also gets lucky because I miss a sidearm or hit his turret. Now, me focusing the artillery is going to come into play later, as you're going to say. E5 bounces again because I point right at him. And now that he's turned to fight our teammate, I'm going to go over. And now the smart thing to do would be to come to the ridge line, stop and shoot him. But you guys know me, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to come over the ridge line, ram him, then shoot him. This is going to cost me some hit points, but you got to have fun, even if it means dying sometimes. So I'm on 200 hit points, start going for the E5. I see the light tank on the mini-map, but I'm just going to try and finish the E5. I unfortunately fuck up, but again, the artillery comes in and finishes him off. Now it's just the one tier light tank left. The reason it was important for me to kill the artillery is look who's left alive on my team. Spandex in a ship bomb, which is really big and really easy to pan. And Friendly Tortoise, who's really slow, and therefore really easy to hit. So, if the enemy still had the artillery left with that light tank, we might have been in trouble. So I think I made the right choice focusing the artillery. I skipped to the end of the battle because it took a while, Spandex finishes off the light tank. And despite all the internet issues um, that I had this game, I was actually able to have a very nice result. 105,000 credits profit, 5,600 damage, 970 assistance, 2,300 blocked. And uh, despite the lag, this actually was an ace tanker, madam. I got an arsonist for a fire kill and a demolition expert in the same game, and I think Felix also had a decent game in the Z5. So overall, don't let the lag get you down, just try and outplay it, basically. It can be difficult, but it can be done. Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.